asking them why so that they can see what's happening. And now we're at the 2860. So that's the general idea. So the, the rule to take away from this is that uh, the, any r form that you get, 1099 W-2, the IRS has it, right? So if you report something less than the forms that you get, then you're probably going to be questioned. If there's a rationale as to why to do that, uh, then, then you're going to have to show that on the return somehow. Or if it's an error in the form, then you've got to go back to the person that issued the form to fix it, right? You'd have to go back to them and say, you need to reissue the form because the IRS has it. And I, not, I need to report the right dollar amount. And that's not going to match what the IRS has. Uh, so that's going to be the, the general idea. So generally, interest usually fairly straightforward uh, for most uh, taxpayers driven by the 1099 interest forms, although interest can come through in other forms as well, like the pass through entity forms. And then of course, we have to determine whether or not the interest is taxable or not, which again, is usually fairly well defined on the date on the on the data input forms, the 1099 interest forms.